Layla Land. I'm Layla. This is my land and it's yours as well. So thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to do a little bit of a haul for you. I know you all like it when I do hauls. I love to go shopping. So what a great combination this is. What a great relationship we have. Um, right, so today's haul I'm just going to fly through because I've got about half an hour before I go and pick Charlotte up. So I need to crack on. If you have been with me a long time as well, nobody panic. I'm just sat in a different place. If you're wondering where the dog is, he's there, he's right behind you. So yeah, shall we just crack on because I look to see what I've bought. Most of the items in this haul are beauty and they are all drugstore, so there's nothing out of anybody's price range here. Because I don't shop out of anybody's price range. Basically, my price range is you know, universal. Anybody can shop my browser because it's about this big. Right, first thing I got was actually something that I think I saw at the checkout in Superdrug. One of those where you're in the queue and you're looking around and you think, oh, what's that? I'll have a sniff. And I actually really bloody love it. It is the Body Fantasies Signature, which I think is made by Superdrug. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, please. Um, and this is the Twilight Mist Body Fragrance, which is just beautiful. <sighs> yeah, it literally doesn't say what the fragrances are, but it's like a really nice um, floral fresh, but without that sickly floral vibe, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, it looks like. <gasps> There's a freaking owl just gone down the back street. What? I kid you not, there is some sort of bird of prey just gone down the back street, fully with like... Oh, it's beautiful. It's fully got the, the stringy thing that handlers catch them on their arm with. I can't speak, it's so exciting! Anywho, right, shall I stick in super drug for now? I think I just spat on myself. <laughs> right, I'll do a super drug group for you. Bear with. <gasps> I've just seen something in this basket that I'd totally forgotten I'd bought and now I'm really excited again. <sighs> Alright, so sticking with Superdrug, I also went and bought this, which is the MUA Lux Glow Beam, yeah, liquid highlight cushion, which I love highlighters. I love liquid highlighters. I just think the finish you get from a liquid highlighter. They are a bit trickier to apply, but when you get them right, they are absolutely stunning, and especially for this time of year, and especially if you're going to be going to festivals and things like that. Um, MUA is actually the first ever makeup brand that I kind of got into um, and bought multiple products from. So, let me see if I can open it. I can't open it because I've taken all my nails off and my fingertips are really sore and it's sealed. But this is basically like, um, it says on the back, um, a luxuriously lightweight gold highlighter applied to leave a stunning sheer luminous shimmer, which just sounds utterly perfect. Um, I am actually going to try and use it as a bit of an inner corner highlight. You could use it on, obviously, on the apples of your cheeks as a highlight, on your nose, on the, your cupid's bow, um, along your collarbone. I am really looking forward to using this when I've got a bit of a fake tan on, because your girl's pale AF. Um, spot the Irish! Um, but yeah, when I've got on the Holly Bobs later this year, which I'm very excited about, and I'm all tanned from a bottle, um, I am very much looking forward to trying this and seeing what results we get from it. Right, I am also planning on uploading soon a festival makeup look to probably my Instagram. Um, so I have been on the hunt for face jewels and found these bad boys. Now, I can't remember which one it is. I think it was these ones. One of these comes free if you spend, I think it was £12 on beauty products at Superdrugs. I think it was these that came free. So these are the more kind of iridescent, shimmery ones. But then I also bought these, which are the purples and blues, which I just love. These are called the Mystic Mermaid Jewels, and you can see why. They're just those kind of colours, aren't they? Um, so keep an eye out on my Instagram for a look coming using those. Right, it will shock none of you to um, learn that I bought a few more Makeup Revolution products whilst I was in there. 
not I'm not even I'm I'm just not even apologizing anymore. If you're watching one of my haul videos where I've been in Superdrug, if you're not just expecting 50% of it at least to be makeup revolution products, then there's some there's something wrong. There's just something wrong. Let's just all expect it. So the first thing I got was the Revolution. Oh god, I keep saying makeup revolution, don't I? Sorry guys, it's revolution. So this is the ultra bronze compact, which just looks beautiful. It's that gorgeous bronzy colour. I'm not convinced it's gonna be light enough for me. It does look a little too dark. Um, but yeah, let's see. Let's just see, shall we? I'm always so scared of putting a new bronzer on because I'm so pale. Unless I've got the fake tan on as well, I kind of get really like, oh, it's just gonna look like I've dipped my face in mud. But knowing Revolution and how easy their products are to use and blend and build if you need to, I'm hoping that this is okay. Uh, but I will report back as always. I also got um, one more of the flawless foils from Revolution. I said it! I did it! I said it! <gasps> um, this one is in the shade Rebound as well, which is kind of a a coppery gold colour. You may have seen in another haul that I did where I bought the um, Karke. I bought the Karki coloured one called Retreat and I bought the Unicorn. I want to say elixir but that's the liquid highlighter unicorn foil there we go unicorn foil i bought those two um and this just looked i mean just look at the shine on that it just looks beautiful so if you've never seen these before these are the um metallic eyeshadows from revolution however they come with this little bad boy of primer is it called yeah intensifying primer so apparently a couple of drops of this into this makes it like it is pure chrome so i can't wait to use these also from revolution is the inner eye brightener i put these these if you don't know are kind of lighter eyeliners i don't know why i'm doing this they are eyeliners um i used to use a white um coloring pencil back in the day god i'm showing my age a bit there on and you literally use it kind of on your waterline in the inner corner and it just makes your eyes look that bit wider and just brightens them up a little bit so i'm looking forward to using that it looks like it's a retractable one as well which leaks um yep our nude eye brightener to brighten and open your eyes thanks ever so much Don't know what came over me then. Um, sticking with Revolution and sticking with eyes, I've plumped and taken the plunge and gone for one of their brow tints. This is a fairly new product for Revolution and it is basically semi-permanent eyebrow shizzle that you can do at home. So the idea is you paint it on, wait a few minutes and it peels off and apparently stays for three days-ish. Now, I am terrified of this because you can probably tell my eyebrows are not my best feature and something I don't find particularly mega easy to do, but let's give it a whirl, shall we? So I have gone for the dark brown um, and I'll report back as always. Do you want me to do specific reviews on these? Let me know in the comments. Right, in my local town, Boots is next door to Superdrug, so let's nip next door and see what I got in there. And again, on the eye theme, I went and got myself a new Soap & Glory Super Cat Eyeliner. The Super Cat Felt Tip Eyeliners are just my absolute favourites. Literally, they have been in so many favourites videos. I love them. So I went in to go and grab myself another one and saw that they actually had, in my local store, a choice. I live in the smallest town. I'm quite surprised we've got a Boots and a Superdrug, to be honest with you. The stands are the smallest, um, kind of the Revolution stand in Superdrug and the MUA stand in Superdrug. The NYX stand in Boots, they are the tiniest stands with the most limited amount of products on. It's so annoying. Um, so I was super happy that they actually had all three of these. You can get kind of a standard, a slim one, and then a really chunky one as well. So I have gone for the skinny one, which I'm super happy about. Um, so yeah, I'll report back. But these for me have been the best. They are the darkest black. They just go straight on. They don't drag on your eyelids. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited that I've got myself another one of those.
Right, I mentioned NYX and one of my other obsessions are NYX lip colours. I bloomin' love them. Ooh, do I have a bigger collection of Revolution palettes or NYX liquid suede's? I love liquid suede. They are my favourite lip products by far. They are always so, so pigmented and I completely trust them to stay on, stay looking dramatic and extra, not budge not fade, not go patchy, I can go out on date night with Paul and eat, I can go out and drink and them bad boys do not move. They go from nudes right the way through to really vibrant colours as well, like this one. This one is amethyst and is the most gorgeous purple. My favourite colour is purple, so I'm really excited to try this one. Mm -hmm. Amethyst is also my favourite jewel as well. The ring I wear on my finger every single day was an 18th birthday present from my parents with an amethyst in. I have an amethyst necklace from the girls. It's my absolute favourite. And I feel like the colour of this is so true to an amethyst stone colour. So yeah, a looks that. So that's getting added to the collection. I'm very much getting into metallics as well, metallic lip colours, metallic elements of clothing. I'm just really, really liking that whole shiny metallic element. Maybe I'm part magpie. This is the soft matte metallic lip cream. So I think I've just got the standard lip creams, the buttery lip creams. Um, so this apparently is a little bit matte and a little bit metallic. I know that sounds like the two things shouldn't go together, but if you use NYX products, you will know exactly what I mean. Um, so I'm really excited to try that. This is another purple and this is Havana if you are wondering. And I do think it is very, very similar to the Amethyst Liquid Suede, but obviously it's a different finish. And I wanted to try the new matte metallic lip creams. So I'm just justifying it to myself like that. Okay, thanks. Speaking of metallics, um, I got another couple of shiny ones as well. So this is the Cosmic Metals from NYX Cosmetics. And this is in... Oh, I sneezed! Bless me! Excuse me, soz! Oh, right, this is in the shade Retro Harmony and is the most gorgeous, I'm gonna say, champagne-y, pinky, gold, beautiful colour ever. Um, and the metallics from NYX, I've really, really got my hair fever going on right now. Ugh. The metallic lip colours from NYX are amazing the shine is brilliant i am very much into the metallic finishes and but i want some bolder colors i want some brighter colors for the summer so i'm gonna head to the website and pick some of those up last from the nyx goodies that i bought is their new duochromatic lip colors which oh my god are amazing so this is called gypsy dreams and it is a beautiful pinky purple iridescent just Donner of a lip colour. I absolutely blooming love this one. Look at the shine! Look at that! But won this be cool as well over this. Yes. So a little bit of this underneath. A little bit there, a little bit there, just in the middle to make my lips look extra kissable, cause you know. Mama does like some snogs. Um, yeah. So that was, oh no, one more from Boots, there we go. Um, also, I mean, I know it's just like an everyday item, but girl's best friend, dry shampoo, and the huge bottles nearly hit myself in the face, but I saved it, pulled it back from the brink. Did you see that? Um, these are actually at the minute, well, at the time of filming anyway, on offer in Boots, and I think these are normally just over a fiver, where they were three pounds not much over three pounds in store so schnuffled schnuffled okay so then i went to primark and did really well actually i only went to buy some towels which i'm not going to show you because that's just boring just standard bath towels um but whilst i was there grabbed a couple old bits and you'll be really proud of me because if you've seen my primark hauls you know how much i spend and how many things i come back with in primark so to go with the look I'm planning for the Instagram look, um, I got myself some more face gems, which are the pinks, the blues, and the clear. And we've got a range of shapes as well. So we've got the square, we've got a couple of teardrops, we've got the circular ones. 
utterly beautiful. Then I saw these and I don't know if they are a bit of gimmicky but either way I love a gimmick so I'm not really bothered. Um, I got these eyeshadow covers so I think the idea is you place them under your eye there and apply your makeup and you get that lovely clean crisp line um, which I normally just do with concealer but I'm all for trying something new and I do love me a gimmick. So these were like £1.50 so you know it's just worth a go isn't it really then i bought this which i think was a pound two pounds there we go two pounds and it is basically glitter i don't want to say mascara because it's not the kind of mascara wand it's more of just to do the tips of your lashes with glitter now in the 90s we used to try and do the glitter lashes things but they never really worked like glitter liner and glitter lash uh, glitter mascara back in the 90s was just a little bit insipid really you never got that like pow glittery effect you'd maybe get a couple of sparkles if your head turned a certain way um but this is more kind of painting the tips of your lashes afterwards so i am super excited to try this one um who doesn't love a bit of glitter i mean come on come on Come on, I think that, oh no. Then I went into New Look. Um, the girls were looking for something and bought some lovely little scrunchies. I'm not above a scrunchie and I am so glad that they've made a comeback. I find scrunchies so useful to have about, even if it's just to whack your hair up to do a facial or to get in the shower or whatever. Um, so sticking with my metallic current obsession, and also, this fuels my gold, pink and grey obsession as well. So I've got a silver one, a rosy gold one and a gold one. And yeah, just cute little metallic scrunchies. And these were £3.99 from New Look. Um, I think that... Oh! I left a Superdrug item out. I'm so sorry. What was I thinking? Um, whilst I was in Superdrug, I spotted that the Zoella Lifestyle journal was on offer at £4.00. I'm sure it was on offer because I remember it being a lot more expensive than that. Again, I like the colours. I've got the organiser from the same range. So that's kind of the grey, the polka dot, the pinks, the, and then the gold metallic embossed writing on. So this is wonderful. It's kind of, instead of the polka dots being just printed on, it's kind of a, a dimpled effect. So that's really nice and tactile. Then inside, we've just got the lined pages with the Zoella Z at the bottom. And I just find them really useful. I, I kind of can find A4 pads a little bit cumbersome to carry around. Sometimes the A5 ones are a little bit too small. So I'm really, really happy that I've got one that's a little bit in between. I like the journal aspect of it as well. So I feel like that's a really good size to carry around. I've got a couple of projects that I've just been launching the last few weeks. Um, so it will be very handy to have something with me that I can write notes on. Um, I do have a video coming explaining all of that. If you have noticed, I've had a bit of an absence from my videos and from social media. All will be explained and all I'm going to say is if you like spending time with your friends and your family and you have big dogs you may want to you may want to stay tuned you may want to stay tuned that's all I'm saying that's all I'm saying so that's it for this video I hope you've enjoyed it I hope you've enjoyed the items that I managed to snaffle for myself if you've got anything similar let me know in the comments um what was your favorite as well I'm always so intrigued to know what people's favorites are when I do a haul if you like the video give it a big thumbs up make sure you subscribed guys we hit 600 thank you so much and welcome to all of you like i cannot believe we can get 600 of you in here it's ridiculous it's ridiculous thank you very much for subscribing if you have already if you haven't please go and do so and click your notification bells share with all your friends and i will see you next time take care bye